Y'all ever just get in the car after work and just want to... Ah! Okay, I feel much better after that. And don't lie, I know some of y'all do that too. But look, with that portion of my day done, we can get back to schedule programming, the stuff that I think you really care about. And that's me dying in the gym on a mission to get diced or die trying. It is currently 5.15 p.m. Thursday, August the 18th. And we got chest today. Um, I'm gonna drive home because your boy did not plan appropriately and bring his clothes with him to work So I gotta run home and get my clothes. I'm gonna change get some pre get some caffeine in me Be in a better mood next time you see me. We'll be on our way to the gym. Yo, so I have a confession But before I give my confession, I have to give it context and so with that I have to say that um, Breaking news the original show date that we had planned to do in November, yeah, no. That's not going to be the first show. I literally just found out yesterday that we're doing the show way sooner. Like, like much sooner. Like, almost so soon that I almost really called Justin and said, hey, my guy, what are we doing? But you know what? At the end of the day, I do trust the plan. I trust the process that we've been on. I'm not going to steer from it, so... If we're going to run it, we're going to run it. And it is what it is. But with that being said, the confession is I'm excited. And I, this is the first time I've been excited about anything in a very long time. I mean, a very long time. Um, the last, like, yo, like six months, eh, five, six months of my life have been, like, such a, like, regimen and a routine of, like, I know when I wake up, all right, I have to clock in at this time at work. When I get to work, I'm gonna have this many files on my desk. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to have this many emails sent, this responded to, this many phone calls. I'm gonna eat this calculated meal at this time. I'm then go to the gym at this time. I'm hitting this lift, and everything has been so routine that now that I've been going through the motion in terms of like lacking the effort in life, but lacking the expectation because. I know what's coming, so I don't expect anything. There's no, like, I don't have to react. I just, it's, it's calculated, right? And and that, that has its pros. It also has its cons. And seeing that, what I was afraid of being the con of that was I was so afraid that living such like a routine life, any change or sudden bit of, you know, adversity, I wouldn't be able to handle it. I probably would crumble. But the fact that my whole game plan is thrown off and I'm sitting here you know, don't be rude. I'm sitting here thriving, like excited for the challenge. I'm just proud because this is a testament to who I've become through this process. And the whole, my whole point of saying that is because, yo, like if there's something that you have passion behind or you have conviction in, run it and do it. Because I'm telling you, like the person that who I was, you would have never thought would be a bodybuilder let alone on social media. I mean, I did not like being at the forefront. I did not like that. I mean, I chose accounting for a reason. I, I work back office operations right now for a reason because I don't like being at the forefront. But yet, when it comes to, you know, training and, and, and bodybuilding and, and just fitness content and putting out good information, I think I have such a passion for that and such a conviction behind it that it's like, hey, I'm gonna do it because I see the good in, in it and the value in it. So anything you see good or value in, bro, go do it. Go run towards it. Go run. Like, 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 please, like, I, I encourage you. Like, that, the whole point of this is to encourage you to go run towards whatever you feel is meant for you, whatever you feel you just have, like, an itch to go do. As long as it ain't rob a bank. And if it is, don't let it be mine because we stay strapped. That was a joke. I don't, I don't know how some of y'all are on here on this app. Y'all might be federal. But yeah, that's a joke. I don't stay strapped. Now, that don't mean the HR girls, they're ruthless. <laughs> that's another joke. It's all, it's all jokes. Laugh. All right. Just pull up to the gym. Wait, up. Uh, my, my. 
don't think I showed y'all my current pre-workout stack. So currently what I got in my, my shaker, <laughs> Black Mag Supply, if you don't know, code dice, cut that price. Hologram, look at the details. Hologram. They snap. But look. So I currently run for the pump product, ectoplasm, right? It's a no stem nitric oxide product. Um, it contains S7, it contains essentially malate, beta O, glycer pump. Make the muscle spongy, make it susceptible to to, to what we need to get the, the basket. Come on, I ain't even hit a dumbbell yet, and we already. Come on, man. Come on, man. But look, if you a caffeine junkie, my stem heads, berserk. I'm currently running the Mango Sunrise If It'll Focus. Um, it's a new flavor to me. I like it. My go-to, though, I'm, I'm a little biased. My go-to is the peach rings, favorite fruit, favorite glue. It, it works. But look, the peach rings is, a, is an automatic go. This, though, the mango is gas, too, though. And it pairs well with the Ecto. I run the two. Code Dice saves you on both. Cut the price. Um, but, yeah. So, we got chest today. It's actually a new chest day. And with that being said, let me hold on. Let me look at the workout first and then I'm gonna tell you what I got. Hold on. Yep, the reports are in. We about to go up a whole cup size today with this workout. So we're gonna begin with some flies. After the flies, we got some dips. After the dips, we're gonna do some presses, both dumbbell, both machine. Um, tons of cable action. It's gonna be a good one. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up, get this pump. Take you inside. Let's rock. Yo, YBH.
Hey, Snap, it's been real. It's been fun, but your boys got to run. So, yeah, that was my brand new chess day. Everything you saw me do just now is a part of the whole new split. As we are approaching show day, we are kind of tweaking and fine tuning things a little bit. So, we're adding in some new moves I'm excited about. It's fun. Um, we normally don't do plate loaded on the chest press. So that was cool to add that in there. Uh, beginning with the flyers was dope. Um, and then the uh, drop set of the chest press was also a nice touch. I like it. Chest feels full. I definitely don't have a whole cup size. The Titan is definitely poking. But yeah, man. So I'm finna get in this whip, head home. And you know what? I might. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. I got a little post workout creation. I think it's the best. You know what? We'll see. We'll do a little taste test. Stay tuned. So I, as I'm walking in the house, I literally just realized leaving the gym. I said I was gonna do a taste test, right? Yeah, I don't have anybody to taste test my shake. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna see my parents. Let me see. What are the odds I get either my mom or dad to try to try my? We gonna see. Hold on, stay tuned. They're too shy to be on YouTube, so we won't have their faces in the reaction. We'll just have audio in the reaction. Okay. So I'm gonna make a shake, like a protein shake, right? My post workout shake. Y'all are gonna try it to tell me how good it is. Or better yet, how good you might think it is. I know it's good, but I wanna hear what y'all think of it, okay? So look, here are your options. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, or we can go like a peanut butter chocolate cup kind of thing. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, okay. Fruit Loops for you too. Stay ingredients for their shake. Don't tell nobody it's my secret recipe. If I catch y'all giving it out, you're gonna meet my lawyers. 100 grams of organic blueberries. The trick is if you freeze them, that's the ice to the shake. Now they chose Fruit Loops, made a little different, but uh, we gonna do a little sample of Black Magic that I got. Me personally, I'm a little biased. I run Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Promo code DICE, cut that price. But hey, they chose they chose this so they wouldn't get what they chose. But in all honesty, all of their flavors are 110% home runs. Uh, the macros on the shake for a single scoop is 25 grams of protein. I believe it's 140 calories, one gram of fat, one gram of carbs. My bad, my bad, five grams of carbs. But the flavors are impeccable. I highly recommend that you run each and every one of them. Now we start adding the key ingredients to it. Maple, Gro <sighs> Maple Grove Farms sugar-free syrup. Five calories per serving. It's prep friendly. Next, the Splenda. It just, it, it's for them. It's, 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 watch, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. And truth be told, you really only got to add a single pack. Now we mix. All right, the moment of truth. Here you guys go. Oh, you mind muting that? I want to get every comment. Every comment counts. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Enjoy. It does smell good. Be vocal. Be vocal now. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Talk to the people. They don't bite. This is really good. It's good. Very good. Now look, they gonna think I paid y'all. You gotta, come on, man. Talk about it. Describe it. What does it remind you of? What does it make you feel like? Well, he done licked the glass. Y'all, if only I could put the camera out. Ooh, he, he nasty. This is very <laughs> tasty. What does it taste like? Does, does it remind, what does it remind you of, honestly? It does remind you of the Fruit Loops. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Promo code DICE. Absolutely. <laughs> Bro, they say moms know best. Mr. Mr. Bradley, your your verdict? This is the tough one. Hey, this the Simon Cowell. If Simon Cowell came in dark mode, it'd be my dad. Don't nothing, don't nothing get him. It's good, and it does taste like the Fruit Loops. But now that I know how it actually turns out, 
The peanut butter would have been better for me. I trying to tell you the the Reese's peanut butter cup would have been a home run, but that's 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 the next episode. I can't give you everything on the first. Little by little, buy me dinner first. I'm still sticking with this one. This yeah, one. that's the home run for you? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Absolutely. All right, now on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? Absolutely. I no, would, a number, my numbers. I would definitely give it a 10. Okay. Mr. Bradley? I give it a 9 because I'm still thinking peanut butter. You heard it here, folks. And you know what? Just like that, we going to end the video like that. You done seen me work a little bit. You done seen me train a little bit. You done seen me... I do... You lucky I'm not on prep or I'd eat some myself. My shake ain't the best, but I do... Y'all, yeah, bye. Look, I'm not faking. He, look. He didn't give it a chance.